Wearing the faja or some type of a conforming garment is critical to the ultimate results of Brazilian butt lift or otherwise known as a BBL or a fat transfer. So this is the way that you put the clasps on. Normally it's best to be lying down on a flat surface. You can have somebody help you if you like, but if you're by yourself, it certainly can be done. It's a nice way, by starting from the bottom towards the top, you'll find that it's much easier to put the clasps on and you can get that garment on. It's normally quite tight and you may think that you can't put it on, but if you follow that basic instruction, starting from the bottom up to the top, with a little help from your friends, you'll be able to get it on. And you need that conformity uh, for the final results. Here we have our patient. She's lying down in a comfortable position. She has a Roho pillow, which is a round circular pillow underneath the buttocks to take pressure off of that area. And you can see how she's gently getting out of the bed, using her forearms and her elbows to get out of the bed so that she can walk around. We always encourage people to move their ankles, move their toes, move their knees so that they get blood flow and circulation. This hopefully will avoid the potential complication of a deep vein thrombosis or a pulmonary embolus. So these things are very important. We encourage you to walk even on day number one, walk around, not to the point of exhaustion, but to the point where you actually have some blood flowing through your legs. You'll find that it'll really help minimize swelling, minimize bruising and getting you on the path to recovery. Some people commonly ask, is it still possible to take a shower? Yes, the short answer is yes, you can. You can go ahead and take a shower, allow the soapy water to go down onto the wounds. You can use a small uh, loofah brush or any type of washcloth just to sort of gently wash yourself. Now the difficult part is gonna be to put the binder back on. But after your shower, you can pat yourself dry. Don't rub any of the areas or any of the incisions and then with the help of a loved one or a friend, try to put the binder back on in the same way that we told you previously, uh, getting the binder around your hips and then starting from the bottom to the top, working your way up the ladder of the clasps.